After being suspended unofficially for over a year, the Guam National Olympic Committee board made it official Thursday suspending the Guam Track and Field Association for violating their bylaws. According to GNOC President Rick Blas, one of the most egregious violations was GTFA President Jay Antonio allegedly allowing an ineligible athlete to participate in an Olympic qualifier in 2013. And it is for those reasons that we, we've suspended them. But again, knowing that if we suspended them, it would, I would have to notify the International Federation, uh, the possibility of them also being sanctioned by the I, uh, IAAF. And I didn't want that. I suspend, we did suspend, but I held back on the uh, enforcement of that in hopes that I could get them back. However, GTFA is adamant that the athlete is a resident of Guam only attending school in Honolulu. According to GTFA, for over a year they have been seeking resolution but allege they've been blacklisted from meetings and not given the chance to defend themselves before the GNOC board. GFTA President Jay Antonio. We made the attempt. We've, we've made several phone calls. We've emailed uh, many times since this whole issue uh, started. And we, you know, we, we rarely got any response. And then when we did get response, there was a lot of things. And then the first time that we were called in, they, he gave us 15 minutes. Um, and not to, to talk to him, but basically for, for Rick Bloss to let us, to tell us, you know, the issues he's having with us. And so we weren't able to, to ask anything. And when we did, he said that, you know, you only have 15 minutes and that's it. So what will it take to lift the suspension? According to Blas, the Federation would need to choose between their athletes and their leadership, meaning they would need to reorganize their board. When a leadership compromises the Olympic principles of GNOC in respect to residency, they got to go. You know, the, I have no confidence in them. They're not protecting the local athletes that qualify under the residency rule to go to the Games. Antonio says, however, that's not possible as it would break the Federation's bylaws and prevent them from being in good standing with the IAAF, which is the governing body for the track and field. Antonio says they informed GNOC that a re-election could not take place but did not receive a response. And that's the problem that we're having is, is you know, just, just there's no communication. We've asked, you know, I mean, it, it's like we're begging to communicate with them and it's the... It, it just it doesn't happen and when it does happen it's 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 sort of like under the radar we can't you know we're not allowed to record it um, and then it's 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 just Rick Bloss. According to Bloss, the suspension of GTFA was taken along with seven other federations and while five have since come into compliance, two remain suspended. And after meeting with the GNOC board, he is now mandated to enforce the suspension of GTFA. At this hour, the GNOC board is meeting and according to Bloss, will entertain GTFA. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.